Shut up and sit down. Well, hello and welcome from the GR Yaris Sport. This car is four weeks old. And in that four weeks, I've done 1,750 miles. The car has been absolutely brilliant. We've not had no issues with it or anything. I didn't expect any issues with it. It's a Toyota. I did the first impressions video when I first got the car and I stand by everything I said about the car in that first impressions video I still stand by them I'm now going to explain why I bought the GR Sport over say an XL model or even a proper homologation special GR. We'll first touch on the homologation special GR and the reasons why I didn't buy one. Could have bought one, I can afford one. First one is to me a car has to be a practical form of daily transport. Two doors is not practical for me for a couple of reasons. How do you get your baby seat into the back of the car through the front doors? It's not easy. You've got the little one in the chair you open the door you've then got to move the seat so you're working through a very small gap that's not practical to me I'd rather be able to open a rear door slide the little one in click her into the seat she's safe and that was an easy process having kids the last thing I want to be doing is sticking them through the front doors, moving the seat, sticking them in the back. I'd rather them have a door that they can climb through. If you're carrying an adult in the back of a GR, you've got to remember to, to drop the roof level and also slope the roof on the GR back a long way. Limited headroom. There's not a lot of space in the back of a GR. So to me, that makes the car a little bit more impractical. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore the two-door GR, GR Yaris. I think it's an amazing piece of engineering that was designed to do a job. And that was go rallying or go around a racetrack. Super, super clever car. Lots and lots of lovely technology in it. But that's not what I wanted as a daily driver. So we'll touch on now the XL. I like the XL trim level. There's one thing I don't like about the XL trim level. When I ordered my GR Sport, the XL trim level was only available in a cream interior. So you got a very, very light coloured roof lining. You got light coloured seats. It's not something I personally like. I like black interiors as a personal preference. 
I know the XL comes loaded with all the safety equipment. It also comes standard with sat nav, parking sensors, automatic folding mirrors, Wi-Fi connectivity. It's all standard for the same price as a base model GR. It, but again, it's not what I wanted. I wanted the GR Sport. But a base model GR Sport with no extras on it, you don't get all the extras that you get in the XL. But you can put them onto the GR Sport, you just buy the City Pack. You get all the extras then. Admittedly, you've spent another £1,200, so that's pushed it over the price of the standard XL, which has all the kit in it. Also, the ash grey is only available on the GR Sport. And I like the ash grey. And at the time I ordered, you could also get the Bitome, which I'm sorry to say to have stopped offering as a, an option now. You can't have the Bitome roof. But the car still looks stunning in ash grey without the Bitome roof. I think it looks like a beautiful, beautiful car. So if you've got one with a Bitome roof, you've got something that they haven't made very many of. You've got quite a rare car. But in my personal opinion, ash grey by tone is the best colour they put on the uh, GR Sports. I've just told you I put a city pack on this car. What did I get with the city pack? Let's go. I got sat nav. I got Wi-Fi connectivity for all the updates on all the systems in the car. Let's go outside the car. Let's turn her off. Because here she is. Ash grey by tone. City Park comes with folding mirrors. We get the parking sensors. They also do automatic braking when you're parking. We get the parking sensors on the back and they're really well hidden into the bumper. There's one here, there's another one here. They also do when you're reversing out of a parking space and you haven't seen a car or a person behind you, the car will automatically stop. I like that feature. You also get blind spot monitoring with all the little warning symbols in the mirrors and that's a really good feature because you can lose a car in your mirror when it's alongside you and not even realise it's there but the car's seen it you get keyless entry that's a function I really really like in a car push button start another function I like in a car I think it's absolutely brilliant them funk them them couple of functions I think are absolutely amazing but there's two reasons why I like them two features the most keyless entry push button start I've got limited mobility in one of my wrists. I've actually ended up, this wrist is covered in scars. There's a scar that runs all the way up there. There's two scars there. 
I had a very, very unfortunate accident which shattered my ulnar bone. and broke a load of bones in my hand. This happened last June. But prior to that, I'd had a wrist replacement. Ten weeks prior to having the accident in June, I'd been waiting two years for the wrist replacement. So. When I bought my Dynamic, I bought that for a reason. Keyless entry, push button start. Because when I'm in a car, because I can't bend the wrist, and I couldn't bend the wrist before I even had the wrist replacement, I had no movements in it. If I'm trying to put an ignition key into an ignition lock, I have to open the door, because I can't physically put the key in and turn it with the door open because I'm limited for space and movement. Also getting in and out of the car, if you haven't got keyless entry, I know you've got the push buttons on the key, but I have to keep putting my hand in my pocket to get the key fob out to push the button. That's a silly thing and a lot of you are going, oh, what the heck? It's only putting your hand in your pocket. I agree with you, yeah, I'm only putting my hand in my pocket and getting the keys out. But because I've got so much scar tissue on the wrists, it irritates and makes the wrist quite painful. So the keyless entry to me, it, that is a massive thing. The push button start to me is a massive thing. Because of these reasons, and also having now a fused wrist after the incidents I had in June, I find it very hard to drive anything that's got a manual gearbox not because I can't change gear or use a clutch I learnt to drive in a manual car I'm in permanent pain with the wrist and if I have to keep taking my hands off my steering wheel left hand off the steering wheel to change gear I'm putting extra strain and pressure and creating more pain for myself in my right wrist so for me, personally, a hybrid or an automatic is my preferred choice of motoring. That's why I went down this route. Hybrid because it's auto and they're also very practical cars, the um, four-door Yaris's. I think they're brilliant, absolutely love them. Seventeen hundred and fifty miles, and I've still got no complaints about the car. It just exceeds my expectations. I've done a couple of long trips in it now, and it's an excellent car on the motorway. It stays with the traffic very, very easily. You can cruise along the motorway at legal speed limits no issues at all if the opportunity arises you can push on but the issue I've got with high performance cars I love them to bits over here in the United Kingdom if you're caught doing over 100 miles an hour it's one you lose your license two it's a massive fine so the only place you can use the performance legally there's a racetrack. I can lose my license in my uh, hybrid Yaris quite easily. But you drive them different, you change your driving style and you tend not to be flying around at 100 miles an hour because you're defeating the purpose of buying a hybrid. You bought it for e because it's an economical car to run. It's a practical car to run. It's a nice car to run. And it's going to be reliable for years to come. That is why I chose what I chose, my GR Sport. That's why I chose it. That's why I chose the dynamic. Practical, economical, reliable, and it suits my lifestyle. 
especially with my, my mobility issues. I'm having mobility issues with my mouth, trying to pronounce words. That's why I drive what I drive. Thank you so much for watching these videos from the GR Sport. Thank you for watching North Wales Side by Side. If you like the videos, please click the like button below. And please consider subscribing to the channel. Because we've still got more videos to come in the Tips and Tricks series. I'm still making the videos and I'm still editing them. Some more coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching the video.